This video is brought to you by Gladiator Concealment and S4 Tactical Gear. Links are in the description box below. What's up guys, it's Michael and Kyle with AKM Tactical. Appreciate y'all watching. I want to take a few minutes today and talk to you guys about handling your gun in a martial manner. Um, martial Mathers? No, martial manner. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, not Eminem. Not Eminem. Um, what does martial mean? Well, martial arts, fighting. Yeah, in a fighting manner. Yeah, a fighting manner. Um, handling your gun with a purpose. That's the main thing. Uh, so many times you see guys, and this gun is clear. So the but you'll see guys, they'll take the gun out, you know, they'll they'll take the gun out of the holster and they just kind of lay down here and they're looking at it and they're piddling with it and whatever, you know, and they're not really handling the gun in a safe manner because they go, oh, it's unloaded, it's all good. So they just kind of do whatever with it. When I grab my gun, no matter how I do it, when I take my gun out, I handle it like it's loaded all the time. Mm -hmm. um, I will check it, I will make sure that it's not loaded, and then I always handle my gun in the same way every single time, um, with a purpose. I don't just piddle with it and fiddle with it and stuff like that. I handle it with a purpose. Um, is it okay to play around with it? Fondle it. Yeah. Is it okay to do that? Mm -hmm. I'm guilty of it. Uh, you know, maybe, maybe not. but. More than not, you should be handling that gun with a purpose because if the time ever comes that you need it, you want to be used to handling it that way. Same way. Same way every time. When I grip the gun, I don't I don't grab it like this. Man, I don't I don't man. you know, I don't do all that. I don't I, when I grab the gun, I grab it like I'm going to shoot it. Even if I'm just fun with it. Even if I'm just messing with it, even if I'm just looking at it, I still grip it the same every single time. Every single time. And that's what we're talking about. Handling the gun with purpose. Grabbing the gun the same every time. Making sure that that muzzle is pointed in a safe direction all the time. All the time. All the time. Um, it's got a laser beam coming out the end of it and it's going to chop off whatever it touches. That's exactly right. That's so exactly you remember. right. Um, you know, another thing is, is like loading the gun um, even if it's an empty even if you're putting an empty magazine in the gun how do you do it like you're gonna do it at the range get in your workspace tap rack get back right. on target um, you know and we did a video a while back not too long ago about dry fire practice um, when you're dry firing let's say you're dry firing with dummy rounds don't take your gun out and just kinda halfway load it and do that with it and then start dry firing. Load the gun and then dry fire. You know, that's the thing. That's handling your firearm with a purpose in a martial manner. Um, yeah. I don't know any other way to explain it than that. My wife doesn't like me dry firing when my kids are asleep because I'm like, you know, I'm like, you know? Yeah, that's right. Uh, I'm, I'm making a lot of racket. Yeah, but that's because you know that's how I generally handle the gun. Yeah, um, finger. That's another thing. High index. High index on the gun. Um, on uh, if you can cover that ejection port, cover that ejection port. Um, however, however far your finger will stretch up, you need to have it that high up. Uh, Jeff Blumen is yeah, one that exactly. comes to mind. Jeff Blumen's finger is like up here. Yeah, he's almost. got it like. Curled. I mean, it's crazy how high he can get his hand up on the gun. But I want my finger to touch the slide if I can. Um, I know we talk about this little stippling here is a good index point. Um, I like to be above it. I always have. I always try to keep my finger as far away from it as I can. That's handling the gun with a purpose in a martial manner. Yeah, and that's an exaggerated thing. You know, like, if, if I see somebody with a, a finger up here, that's pretty good, you know, trigger yeah. discipline. But, you know, I was always taught in sports, you know, growing up, you exaggerate the motion. 
and that's why we get that finger up there. Yep. You know, I, I used to put it down here, and I wondered why in the world that dude had his finger all cocked up here. But after, you know, spend some time training and, and get some professional training, I understand why. Get that mug out of the way. There's no chance that that finger is going to slip down and yep. slip in this trigger guard. Yep. Uh, you know, I don't, I don't put it here. I don't, I don't point it here. Uh, up here, up here, high and out of the way. And uh, actually, would you like that? You know, that's the best option. That's the best way to handle it. And if you do that, if you handle it the same every time, you'll always be safe and you'll always be ready. And that's yeah. that's the key. That's the main point. Um, I just did a press check. Some people would say the press checks are not martial. Yeah, they would. Um, some people would say that. Some people would say that. I, I don't, you know, I, I have my own thoughts and feelings about press checks. They are what they are. But, um, you know, handle the gun the same every single time. Uh, when, you, when you put that gun on uh, in the mornings or whatever it is, when you go to put that gun on, don't. Don't put your holster on and then just kind of piddle and ease the gun in there. Come up, do your thing, whatever your your routine routine is, and then safely put that reluctantly reluctantly put it in the holster. Handle it in a martial manner. Um, I, I just don't know any other way to say it. Don't handle it like don't handle it the same way you handle this water bottle. Yeah. Treat it with respect. Guys, whenever whenever I was a lot of some of my references go back to sports it's just because I played baseball and, and football like half my life now and I'm thirty or a little more. Uh, but I you know, I remember I was at a practice when I was a kid and uh, I laid out for a ball on first base. I like dove, caught the ball, you know, and one of my buddies was like Dude, what are you doing, man? It's freaking practice. You play like you practice. Mm -hmm. And that's exactly what we're talking about, guys. Yep. Uh, especially when you're at the range because there's a lot of fire going on. There's, you know, a lot of risk involved there. Yep. But when you're at home and you're dry firing, like, uh, when you're handling your gun at all times, treat this like it's loaded and like you're about to go to work with it. Yep. That's right. This is a serious thing, guys. We love guns and we love to look at them. We love to, you know, phone them. Uh, we appreciate them, we like the way they look aesthetically, but at the end of the day it's a tool, it's a very serious tool, and it's a tool that uh, needs to be taken serious. That's exactly right. Guys, even when I go to an academy or somewhere and I look at a gun, you know, the first thing I do when, when they hand me the gun is, even if they've already checked it, I will check it, verify it myself, I will stick my finger in there, I will look to make sure there's not a mag in there, and then I will slingshot that slide and then I'll press it out and you know pick up those sights. I'll I'll do that every time. Yeah. And uh that's just because for one I want to get a feel for the gun if I'm interested in it, but two like that's how I handle guns. Yeah. And I always do it in a safe direction where I don't have to worry about flagging anybody or anything like that. Yeah. I, a lot of times I will do it at the floor. Straight down. Yeah. Straight down at the floor. But um, it's still a rep. Yeah, it's still a rep. Doesn't matter. It's still the same thing. It's just aiming down instead of aiming up. That's right. Um, I had a guy one time. I was at a gun shop and I was looking at a. Um, I was actually looking at a single action revolver. Uh, it was a. I don't remember what. Shop. No, it looked like a Colt single action, but it wasn't a Colt single action. It was a cheaper version of it. Um, but it was. It was all nickel plated. It was just kind of cool, you know. I was just looking at it, and uh, when he handed me the pistol, he didn't check it. He just handed me the pistol, right? And this was years ago. I was young. I have just turned 21, 22 years old. He handed me the pistol. He didn't check it. He just handed it to me. First thing I did was open this, the, the cover and uh, cock it back, half cock, and start rotating the cylinder to check it. And he said, unless you're going to buy it, don't rotate that cylinder. Closed it up, dropped a hammer laid it back up there. I said, you have a good day. And I turned around and walked out. Because even yeah. then, I knew that you should handle a gun in a in a martial manner with a purpose. Mm -hmm. And you should check those guns at all times. Um, this guy was being a jerk. He didn't want the cylinder to be whatever, touched, or I don't know if he thought it was going to leave marks on it or whatever, but I, I was done with him. I wasn't going to fool with him. Guys, I couldn't, uh, you know, I don't know if y'all have ever seen like uh like when they pull these guns out of people's collection and they have all these, you know, they wear the white gloves. Yeah. Oh, I couldn't do that mm -hmm. because I would have to open the action and, and look at it, verify it, and I'd probably want to dry fire it. Yeah. So I can't, 
uh, there are certain well, there are certain guns that are made for that. Uh, my dad has a um, a gold. It's a gold. It's a Winchester 3030, but it's um, a lot of the parts on it are gold. Gold plated. And um, like it's a collector's item. It's never had a bullet put in it. It's never been shot. I don't even think they shot it when they built it. Cause it's not made for that. There was a certain amount of them made, and they're collector's items. It, it doesn't even come out of the box that it came in. I've seen it twice in 34 years of my life. Um, you know, but other than that, other than those kind of guns, no, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna be that way. If I did a close up of this Glock 19, uh, you would think I hated it. <laughs> you know I mean, honestly, because the finish is coming off all over it. You know, it's beat up. It's just like. It's very loose and just, you know, because this is a tool and that's what we use it for. But um, you need to handle it in such a manner. You need to handle it and give it respect that it deserves because it will take a life. It can take a life. And if you if you, if you you make it happen, it will take a life. So Snatch the life right out of you. Yeah. Uh, handle your guns with purpose. Uh, don't piddle around with them. Handle them with purpose. Handle them in a martial manner. And uh, if you do that, you'll always be safe and you'll always be ready. Sure. You got anything else? That's it, brother. Guys, you know what to do. Like, share, subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, you can leave them in the comment section below. Or you can jump over to the Facebook page. We always get into a more in-depth conversation there. We will also provide links to all of our social media outlets, akmtactical.com, our sponsors and affiliates in the description box below. But we appreciate y'all watching, and y'all be safe.